Hello everyone, and welcome to this video review of Pear Linux. Over the past couple of months, I've been sharing some of my experiences with switching over to Linux in a blog that I've created, but today I'm going to try something just a little bit different. I'm going to do my first very quick distribution review. Um, if you think it's worthwhile, let me know and I might do more. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Pear Linux 6.1 which is an Ubuntu-based distribution that combines simplicity and beauty. So in the past, Pear has been well known for borrowing a lot of its design ideas from OS X, as you can probably see right away. So we have this very nice looking dock at the bottom. And then starting in the top right corner, by the way, this is GNOME 3.4.2. So in the top right corner here, we have the uh, power settings for sh shutting off and logging out and so on. Next to that we have the messaging settings, and then we have the volume controls, uh, the battery options, Bluetooth, uh, wireless settings. Uh, and then here in the middle we have uh, the calendar, which is pretty standard stuff. And then the, in the top left corner where your applications would normally be, when you click that it brings up Launchpad which if you've used OS X in the past few years, you'll probably recognize this idea. It's Apple's attempt to make um, OS X a little bit more like iOS, arranging all your applications as icons in one spot. And then down here in the dock, there's another link to Launchpad there to get to all your applications. So then we have um, Pear OS has kind of rolled out their own app store. Um, which is actually quite nice looking. Uh, so if we just give it a sec here to load, you can see um, you can see the different uh, different options along the top there. And what they do is they actually kind of arrange the applications into different uh, subgroups, which I kind of like. So it gives you a really good idea right away. Um, you know, if you're looking for a certain kind of thing, you can you'll probably be able to narrow it down pretty fast here. If you go over to repositories here, it's, it's the same kind of idea with the categories on the left and then the applications arranged on the right hand side here. So next, let's take a look at the browser manager here. Um, and I actually kind of like this idea. So when you bring it up, you can see Firefox is installed by default here. But if you're a Chrome user or Opera or Midori user, you can easily just install them right from here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop open the settings panel here. This is pretty standard stuff. One thing that you might notice here is that there is uh, some tweak settings for, for Pear Linux specifically. So it's nice of them to include these tools um, so that you can customize a few things uh, and, get, and get Pear running exactly the way you'd like it to. So this is definitely worth taking a look at. So using multiple desktops in Pear Linux is really, really fast and easy and really quite intuitive. They have a hot corner in the bottom left hand corner. Um, and you just move your mouse there and it brings up the workspace switcher. So here I'm just going to open up a couple of different applications on two different workspaces here. And you'll be able to see me just uh, quickly switch back and forth between them. So now the other hot corner is in the top left hand side here and that opens up Mission Control which is just like OS X. It allows you to see uh, all the applications that are currently on your workspace and quickly switch between them. Um, and then another interesting point is the social uh, web applications that are integrated upon install. I didn't install these, these came pre-installed. So you get Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter all pre-installed on there. And that's it. That's Pear Linux 6.1. So thanks for checking out the video. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, just let me know in the comments. Thanks again.